Hello, friends. It's almost Christmas. <laughs> However, these goodies got here. I will get into the delays because I get comments about it anyway, but this year is a wash in the terms of just everything. <laughs> everything. But specifically with what relates to our hobby, our industry, everything. Um, yeah. And, and especially right now. Shipping, postal services, and deliveries, and all those things are, are really, they're just bombarded. Like, so bombarded. So, to those complaining on my social media, I feel ya. I get it. I get very frustrated as well. But we're just we're just gonna keep pressuring on, you know. Um, yeah. So then, and then add to it manufacturing delays for everyone. Like this collection came out later than they normally release. Although, if Doodlebug sees this, I would love if you guys would do your seasonal collections like a month earlier. Because the Halloween and Christmas ones, I think, should just come out earlier. If it's, I don't even know. Because I know manufacturing and all of that is just such a difficult thing and then getting it shipped and shipping delays and you know what I mean. So anywho, this collection, Doodlebugs Night Before Christmas, just showed up. I honestly wasn't sure if it would show up before Christmas at all because again, shipping delays, all the things, it's, it has been nuts, but things are getting through. They're just taking longer. Um, I don't have the entire collection, which for me personally is a little bit nuts. I think I ordered a lot of this just in a stupor. I have a few multiples, mostly I think because I was like, oh, I really love this one. So I want extras so I can hoard it. And then I missed some of the things. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but I'll show what I've got. I'll link to it. Regardless, it's adorable. Doodlebug always knocks it out of the park. And there's always next year. That's usually like, you know, I'm planning on pulling some of this out. I don't know if I'm going to, like, I hope I can make some cards for this year's Christmas series. Because there's still more coming. But, anywho. Night Before Christmas. In the typical doodle bug, super adorable fashion. I love how this year's collection is really heavy on, like, the light. Like, the aqua color is the green and the pink. You know, it pulls in everything else, but that's kind of like what feels like the main sort of colors. And then, you know, your pops are red and all that. But yeah, they're... Oh, I love it. <laughs> it honestly doesn't matter, really. Like, it's like, it's just doodle bug. Doodle bug Christmas, doodle bug pretty much anything, and I have to own it. So, this is a six by six. I do love these little tags. I've never... Even though you get more than one sheet. I should. Like, you could so... Because, like, that's just it. It's so easy to just cut them. Like, that's the whole... That's obviously why they did it. You can cut them and then punch a little hole and just snip off a little... And you got these adorable 18 little tags. Like, how cute are they? They're really cute. I might actually... And, like, how they're even on the back, so they're perfect. I might actually have to cut these apart just to use, like, on my kids... Christmas gifts, because this is so much quicker and easier. <laughs> you know, slay, slay. Anyway, super cute. Super duper cute. I just... Uh, like, I'm going to end up needing a whole other room just to store my doodle bug stuff in, because I have been hoarding it for years. But yeah, you get two sheets of everything. So you get two sheets of these adorable little tags. All the cute stuff. So there's that. There is, of course, um, let's move all this pile of fabulousness over. There's a 12 by 12. There's a 12 by 12, like, double-sided cardstock. And then there's, like, the paper pack that has a sticker sheet in it. And the difference with those is when Doodlebug releases a collection, they usually will have two sets of 12 by 12 papers. The one set is very similar to the little six by six pack. It's just larger patterns. And then the other one is ones like this, where it's like the typical doodle bug 
um, I don't know what you want to call them, like traditional patterns, I guess, like basic ones, like the dots and the wood grain and grids and all that kind of stuff. So they're obviously meant to be like companions, but I get them because I like making envelopes with these ones. And you get, and they're all double-sided, like pretty much almost every single time you guys see, especially my slimline envelopes that are patterned, they're from these Doodlebook paper packs. So I always make a point to get them and especially these basic ones because they just go with everything like you know there's green floral right there like it works with this but it also will work with anything so yeah you know love them love them so very much and i still will hoard it regardless but yeah that's the paper pack and then this one and i always keep just like i do with just about everything like i do this with my stamp set all the sorts of things. I keep the packaging that it comes in and I just cut the top off and then that way I don't have to fiddle with the sticky part in the bottom and then that way I can store it and it works. So this one is the 12 by 12 papers just in a larger format. That's also why I love Doodlebug because they shrink down the size of the patterns like there's the 6 by 6. So this is so much nicer for card making these work too, but you know, just it's just a bigger style and it's meant more for scrapbooking, which I don't do. But yeah, these would also make super cute envelopes. So it's basically like the main pattern on one side and then a plain pattern on the other, which I love. Because Santa's so cute. And oh, I just, there is something about plaid. I just, maybe it's the, quarter Scottish that I am, but I see plaid and that sort of thing. And I'm just like, yes, I love, love. But anyway, um, yeah. And ooh, bigger tags. <laughs> These are like a perfect size. These are so cute. They're just so cute. I love it. Like, this just makes me happy. If I was into making more like, 3D things and like things for display this stuff would be really cute to make little you know that kind of stuff I just I like making cards or like to do a like a countdown advent sort of calendar this would be perfect cute as that so anywho these are all beyond adorable they and they can be mixed and matched with previous holiday collections obviously because doodlebug just has their set color themes or color combos colors whatever so, yeah, and a lot of their characters are very similar. So, yeah, mix and match. You get a whole big 12 by 12 sheet of stickers that are all just super cute. Again, more meant for scrapbooking, but they're still just adorable. So, you got that. And then, speaking of stickers, there's, as usual, there's two different packs. I only have the one because, again, I don't know what I was thinking when I was placing my order. There's the mini icons and then there's the main one. So the mini one is just a scaled down size of their stickers. You get two sheets with all their adorable little characters. Love it. Love to see more inclusive, you know, so they're not all the same either. Different skin tones, hair, etc. Love. And then cute little cute little Santa Claus. I love these. I'll get to those in a minute. But yeah, so that's the mini icons. There is the larger one, which is basically the same or very similar. And then the other thing I didn't order, again, I don't know what I was thinking, are the icons pack and the chit chat with all of the die cuts that I show any other time I do a doodle buck haul. <laughs> um, I'll just post pictures. I'll link to them. But they, again, they have like a bajillion die cuts. I'm still kind of kicking myself for not getting them because it's just part of the collection. Like, if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know, I collect Doodlebug. That's, this is just, yeah. I collect push pins and then Doodlebug stuff are like my, everything else I use for the most part. <laughs> but I do collect this. And I know I'm gonna get comments, like just use it already. I will, sometimes, sometimes I won't. It just, it makes me happy just having it. Like really. So anywho, there's those. Um, there are, no, I'll get to the stamps in a minute. So we've got the shape sprinkles. I just have my com 
computer here so I can see. I have everything but the one pack. I think it wasn't available when I ordered. But there's the Here Comes Santa Claus Shape Sprinkles and they're all the little Santa faces. Oh no, I did get them. Ha! Huh. I thought I didn't. See? They're so cute. And some of them, he's winking. That's cute. Some his eyes are open, some are closed, and then some he's winking. That is so adorable. And then all the little hearts. I love it. I didn't think about that. Now I'm like extra happy. So there's the Santa ones. There's these adorable um, visions of sugar plums. So you got cute little <laughs> gingerbread people and candy and stuff. And these are all like enamel, glossy raised. Like I love doodlebug sprinkles. I, yeah. So those ones. And we have the Christmas assortment, which is just their plain ones. I like they're in three sizes. My only, I only wish they had one slightly smaller. Yeah. I'd be happy with like this and the small and then just little ones. I don't know why. It's just, it's a weird thing I have, but they're still gorgeous colors. They look like candy. And then there's jewels. So Christmas jewels, all again, self-adhesive. So you just peel them off, stick them onto everything. These ones have one, two, three, four different sizes. See, I like that. I like it. I like the variety. So those ones. And then we have the Christmas Wishes Stars. So look all year round, really. So many of them you can use year round. And these ones, obviously, I got extras. Because I there's something about it. I just thought it was so cute. So that's the Twinkle Lights. Aren't those adorable? Like, just... They're so cute. They're so cute. So I got those. I did order... The little uh, pin set, which is actually three pins. I've been seeing comments about that online, like in some of the groups and stuff. Like people are like, what is the thing with the push pins in card making now? It's just a collection. Like people have been collecting enamel pins for years, like just different groups of people with different hobbies, all that sort of thing. Like even one of the cl like clothing stores that's somewhat local to me, they make cool enamel pins with their brand which I need to get because I think they're amazing but anyway yeah they're just fun to collect I have a little little cork board in my office and when it comes to doodle bug I'm starting to collect all their pins and I've got some Simon Says Stamp ones and all that stuff so yeah stick them in a little cork board and they're just they're just a cute little display I think these ones well, there we go so yeah these have a like heavy duty um backing to them which is kind of nice. But yeah, I just save the backing in a little package and then I just stick my little pins in my little cork board and I have a cute little display of them, which is right now kind of hiding behind some furniture because I don't know space, but it's just cute. Super cute, as always. That's just the doodle bug way. And then the really fun um, cardstock stickers like the doodle pops. Again, I ordered extras. <laughs> this one just... Oh, how cute. So this one is the cookies for Santa. And again, like, they're all, like, 3D multi-layered. They'll have, like, glossy accents on them. Things like that. So you've got this cute little Santa mug with a cute little um, marshmallows and stuff. But yeah. They're super dimensional and they're just they're cheap they're a couple bucks or whatever so I hoard them people have made some really cute cards with these like really cute cards I just and that's why I got extras because I was like okay if I have extras to keep me from feeling like the anxiety of using them I know I tell everyone to use your stuff and then I'm the worst when it comes to doodlebug I am the worst so I know I do not follow my own advice but I do with all, like a lot of other things so Anyway, so we got that one. There's the little Christmas tree. It has little glossy bits as well and some stars. Cute little wreath. Again, glossy and popped up with dimension. It's absolutely adorable little um, goody gumdrops. <laughs> and he's like got three layers for his head and just, so I got two of those of course. Ooh, when the one popped out, I'll have to fix that in a minute. And then there's a Santa Claus. There's like a little glossy nose and little glossy eyes. Santa Claus and then um, stocking stuffers. This one I should have got more of too. Ugh. Should have got 20 of each. Anyway. <laughs> 
there's those. There's washi tape. Don't know why I didn't get it. I have, but I, I do also have like an insane amount of Doodlebug Christmas washi tape. There's washi tape, I'll show the images, super cute. There are stamp sets with coordinating wafer die sets. So there's the like kind of, I'll just call it like the one is the night before Christmas. So it's like the Santa Claus set with a coordinating wafer die. And then there's the Visions of Sugar Plums set also with a coordinating wafer die. I like that one has the Merry Word as just a wafer die. I like that. Ugh. Don't know, I don't think it was maybe, they. I don't think they were in stock when I was able to place my order. So there's those. And again, I'll link to everything. And then also, this was part of the limited edition kit that sold out, that's not even going there. But this is available. So this is the Simon Says Stamp We Believe stamp set. So it was designed to coordinate with this collection. So, super cute. You've got like the, you've got your row of houses, you've got little Santa Claus. I love this little like image of the animals curled up on the chair. Little mouse. Oh, so, so cute. So you got the stamp set. There is a coordinating wafer die set for this as well that will die cut everything. So I will link to these along with everything else. And yeah, that's it for the moment. I have more. I have, like, Simon just had a release. I still have to do that release and review video. Christmas cards coming, Valentine, love theme, New Year, you know, all that stuff. Stay tuned. I've got just not enough hours in the day and a ton of ideas and yeah, fun things, all that stuff. But as always, I will post a link um, below the video to my blog post. In my blog post, I'll do picture links of everything I showed. It'll also be in the description box below. And I'll link to the other stuff as well. So you can check that out if you're interested. Um, and I have, ooh, I do have a $5 off coupon code I can share too. I think I got it in my most recent order, because Simon usually includes them, the little card. So I will have that as well. So I'll have the code below, post on my blog. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, thumbs up, commenting, all of it. Really, really appreciate it. I try to respond to all the comments, or at least heart them so you guys know I'm reading them. And yeah, same with all my social medias. Those are linked to my Facebook and Instagram, all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching all of it. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye.